pretty little kitties. We thought that today we'd have a real discussion about terrible makeup. Just terrible. Mommy doesn't like it. It's makeup for your eyes. And I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> because I'm mom's personal helper. I think this stuff looks watching. Just, she's distracted. <laughs> so I thought we'd have a little coffee, sit and have a little chat about uh, makeup that I'm not completely sold on. I am wearing the eyeshadow today. The rest of the face, absolutely love, adore. It's a foundation I've used several times. It's Almay it's SPF. It just sits so nicely on the skin. There's also a primer that I'm not too sure if it's my fault that it's working, not working really well, or like the one day I used it, I stuck too much on. So that's why kind of, but my nose is always my problem area because I'm blowing my nose, especially since pregnancy. I blow my nose so much. It all just here, here, you know, comes off. Wears throughout the day. And it's the, woo, not too close to the camera there. It's the tea tree. It's from the body shop. And it's pore minimizing. I find that it definitely minimizes my pores. But... It also seems to make the foundation slide around a little bit. The one day I did use it that I was very, very disappointed in it. I'd done, I think, it was an Oilers game day and I'd use this and my makeup, and I was working, my makeup just did not last at all. But it seems to be standing up pretty good today. But what we are here to discuss is these right here. These very lovely pigmented, very pigmented cream shadows. The two that I'm wearing on my eyes Pale blush, which is a very nice kind of uh, rosy pink color. It is super soft in the pot. Comes out really nice. And as you can see, swatches. Not too bad. It's totally the lighting here. Swatches, not too bad on the hand, but... Even looking at it on the hand, it's super patchy, though it's, it's opaque, it's not. And I find once I get it onto the lid, it, it's absolutely fantastic because it's transfer proof to a fault. Because you get it on the eye and it's like no time to blend. The second you get it on the eye, it's like... I'm on your eye and I'm going to stay there. Where you put me, I'm going to stay. And then you try and blend me out, I'm going to look cakey and terrible and not move. Which is my issue. Today it went on really nice. Last time I used, uh, yesterday when I used it, I used um, my trick of ring finger, just quickly put it all over the eye like I do with my Maybelline tattoo, like my bad to the bronze and the other colors that I absolutely love, use all the time, is my major go-to, everyday go-to look. You guys know that this is my die-hard love. I use it all the time, like... Look at that divot in there every day as my go-to work look. It is beautiful. It goes on so nice. Just in a lot of ways 
more pigmented than the pale purple. It's a cream shadow. It layers nicely. You can do a sheer wash or a very stark color payoff look. Words fail me, mush brain. <laughs> but with these, it's like you have one choice. It goes on, it goes on hard, and it's staying all freaking day, which is what you want from a product, yeah. But when you can't blend it, that makes it a little less favorable. And I put this, originally I just had the pale pink all over my lid while I was at work all day. And it's nice, it looks like a very natural look, but at the same time, there's nothing to it, no depth, it's a little shiny. Like when I put it on my lids, it started looking a little pearly. But when you look at it in the pot, it doesn't look like it has any shimmer in it at all, but the second I got it, on my lid it looked a little frosty and it's very pretty. I do find it's very pretty. I do think it pairs with the purple not too bad that I've stuck in my corner which I uh, blew out a little bit and it looks amazing on camera. It does. And when I look far away in the mirror here it also looks very nice. It's a pretty color. It's a nice pink blush. Like it says, it's a pale blush. Kind of definitive about my opinion here that they are super hard to blend. They look really chalky and cakey on the eyes. They just... Frustration <laughs> is the only word I can think of when I think about them. I think I've stated all my opinion on this. I don't know if they're terrible because they're old or they're just terrible. And I want to love them. I really do. Because they're pretty and they're quick. But I had to use a brush to make it go on smooth. And with creams, I like the fact that the best part about creams is you can use your fingers with them. Just wipe it on your eye. Like one quick swipe and you're done. It is sad that they are so hard to work with because they are such beautiful colors. <laughs> but I just don't like the way they make my eyes look when I'm looking at them because it makes them look kind of dry. It's exaggerating my lot. Oof. Sorry. It's exaggerating my lines and it just looks kind of caked on and I did a thin layer with a brush. I had to use a flat brush, rounded but flat brush, to get the color all over my eye so that it looked smooth. Otherwise it didn't seem to go on nicely. <laughs> at all and in first application it seems like it's really patchy it's kind of moving around like you're not getting any color so you go back in in certain areas and then or you're trying to smooth the color out so that it looks like it's sitting all over your lid really nicely one wash of color it just doesn't seem to do that the second you get it on your eye it just doesn't seem to want to move, which is ridiculous to me. You have no play time. The second you get it on, it's done. Well, how am I supposed to blend that out? It did add, like, I put this on, so I wore the pink all day, just the pink, and then I added this blue, like, purple. I added this purple, like, couple hours ago, maybe actually maybe more like 20 minutes or, or so ago. And the color difference is the same. Like my one that I've worn all day has not creased, not moved, but then it hasn't moved. 
it didn't move and was unmovable when I tried putting it on. Pros and cons, uh, if you guys, some of you do use this product and love it and find it really good, and if it is an expiry date thing, please leave comments down below so that I know because I'm not too sure. I just, at this point, I had to tell you guys how terrible I find them. I don't like giving stinky reviews necessarily, but I just, trying to put them on and wearing them and looking at them and I'm like, that's a pretty color. Now also, weirdly, as the day goes on, it seems to get more opaque and seems to have more color and more color payoff, which is just weird. And I guess it's maybe also that it's such a pink color. It doesn't necessarily sit by itself very well. The purple does seem to go with the pink nicely. It's just not friendly to work with. The beautiful shades. A few positive things about it, but... <clears throat> They're just super, I find them super hard to work with. If you find them to work with or easier to work with, tell me about it. But as of now, the Mary Kay Eye Cream Shadows, well, they call them cream eye colors, are a definite pass. For me, just frustration to work with. It's something, even sitting here when I was doing this corner here, even sitting here working with it, like really, I went in there with an angled brush to try and get a nice, like, squared off kind of cat thing, uh, a little blown out. It was hard to blend it. Uh, yeah, they're just, once they're on there, they're on there. And it's no blending time, which is ridiculous to me. You need blending time. Especially if you're doing with such bright, stark colors. You want them to blend out and look beautiful. Yes, you want them to stay all day without any primer and not crease. So it's super easy, super fast, no fuss makeup. That's what we all love. That's what we're all searching for. But if it's that without the blendability, how is it and all worth the potential price. You guys enjoyed this little chat about sadly terrible products, things that I don't like, but I do want to come with you got to come to you guys with things that I find don't work so that you're better informed because I'm better informed and we all want to be better informed buyers. That way we're not wasting our precious pesos on things that just make you so mad, so frustrated, you're sitting there in your makeup room and you're like, oh, it's gonna be so pretty, so fun, and it was a waste of like 50 bucks. That makes you so mad. I know. <laughs> when you love a product, it's worth the price, depending on how much the price is. But when it's relatively inexpensive, but yet you still kind of had to pay a pretty penny for it, especially depending on where you're living. I, yeah, I want to, hands down, it's I want to save you guys some frustration, some cash by telling you things that I find don't work for me, so they may not work for you. And I hope I'm helping. <laughs> So I just want to tell you guys that I love you and thank you so much for watching my videos. 
I hope this was informative and helpful for you. And remember to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you guys know when I have a video that has come up. You can be notified when new things show up. And thank you again. I love you guys. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.